me start off by saying that if you have a PC, installing Rails on it is typically not recommended. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't do it, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can. Uh, however, uh, there are some other options that I'll walk you through that are considered a little bit better practice if you have a PC and you don't have a Mac or Linux box to work with. Uh, if you do have a Windows and you want to kind of troubleshoot installing it and getting it in, I'd go to railsinstaller.org and this is an engine yard project and this will walk you through how to install uh, Ruby and Rails on your PC. You could also do it with Mac but I'm going to show you a different way to do it uh, for everyone who has a Mac. Uh, you can simply go here and I would install the latest version which has Ruby 2.1 and Rails 4.1. Uh, some of the reasons why uh, this is considered a uh, bad practice is just because uh, Windows doesn't really play well with Mac and uh, there's a lot of a lot of people who would say not to use it at all. Uh, this downloader will come with the Ruby programming language, which PC doesn't come with by default like Mac or uh, Linux does, and, or Rails 4.1, uh, Bundler, Git, the SQLite database, TinyTDS, uh, SQL Server support, and DevKit. So uh, if you download this and install it on your system, it's pretty much straightforward. It's a regular exe file that you can uh, run through, install in the system, and then you can start running. Uh, I'm going to be doing this course on a uh, on a Mac and uh, you can follow along one way or the other but if you do follow along with PC then you may have some issues uh, later on because there are some some challenges with PCs so because of that there's a couple other options that I personally would recommend if I only had a Windows box to work with uh, the first is you could install Linux Ubuntu inside Windows using the VirtualBox application. And all of this is free. Uh, you just come and follow each one of these instructions here. And this is on the psychocats.net website. And uh, every one of these uh, items is pretty straightforward. It walks you through exactly how much memory to allocate and how to set up the virtual machine. And then you can simply open the application up and you would have a Linux box installed on your PC. And that's a lot easier to work with than running it on a PC directly. The other option, which is probably the easiest out of all of them, and if anyone's taken my comprehensive Rails course, uh, I built the entire application uh, with using this Nitrous application. Now, Nitrous, a uh, while ago, moved out of beta and moved to pro. But however, they still do have a free account that you can use to learn from. And in order to access that, go to sign up on their site and that's going to load up and you can log in or you can create a new account so just for the sake of this i'm going to say uh, beginner rails and dash gdh and i'll come here and create a new account now, when I create a new account, then from here, uh, you can build anything uh, using these languages or uh, these different uh, frameworks. So you could do PHP's Laravel, regular PHP, Python's Django, WordPress. Uh, so you have a lot of different options. You also could use things like Node.js, Java, Ubuntu, Go. Uh, for this uh, course, obviously, we'd be using Rails. So click Next. Uh, select a container name, Ruby on Rails is fine, and hit next. And then it tries to take you to here. Uh, this is if you want a paid or a free, and then also uh, which location you're from. Uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of Rails development, then I think the $9 a month would definitely be worth it because Nitrous is a fantastic application. It would save you if you have a PC uh, or if you'd want to be able to have the identical uh, development environment on every machine. Uh, I think that's well worth the money and I do have a pro account as well. Uh, however, if you want to just learn this and you don't want to pay any money for it, just click free right here 
click create and then it's going to want to send you a, uh, a text message which I'm not going to go through however it's pretty standard go through that whole set and then it'll create the box for you and then once you're there you're able to run Ruby on Rails on that uh, on your PC or your Mac or whatever you have by using this cloud-based editor. So now that you know three different options for installing it on a PC, in the next video I'm going to show you how to install everything on a Mac.